Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. This is video two of the Windows Server 2022 configuration course. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is checking for updates from our previous install, changing the time zone. We're gonna be signing an IP address and a gateway. We're gonna be enabling remote desktop on the server, changing the name to win22-dc01 because this is gonna be a domain controller. And then we're gonna re uh, reboot and test the connection and make sure everything is good to go. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you saw video one and that's what led you into video two. If you are a continued supporter, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So let's get into it, right? Let's get, let's get crack a lot. So let's uh, escape out of here. Let's open up our Windows server. Okay, we can actually put this in full screen. Just put this in full screen so we can Get cracking. All right. So before we actually put that in full screen, you know what I want to do? I want to drag. I want to drag this over so I remember all my configuration. Cool. All right. Cool. So what we're going to be doing is checking for updates for if there's Windows updates. So what we can do is just go to Start and just type in Windows updates. Okay. Windows. Well, I think it's Check updates now. Yep, check for updates. And we can see if there's any updates. If there is, you know, this is always the first thing you should do after you install any server. Any new server is check for updates, make sure you're all patched, good to go. There is some updates, so it's going to start downloading them. Okay. So we'll let that do its thing. And meanwhile, we can continue, right? Second, we're gonna go ahead and change the time zone. Because my time zone is Eastern time. So let's go ahead and, what, what am I doing? Sorry. I wanna go ahead and change the time zone. Okay, so my thing is Eastern, which is right here. Apply. Okay, and you can see now it's 11.30 p.m. It is almost midnight where I'm at. So the third task was assign an IP address, right? So we're gonna be, right now we have DHCP. So if we click on here, we're gonna be assigning a static IP address to the server. We might break these updates, but who cares, it's a VM. So I like to look at things in detail. I don't know about you. So preference. So let's go ahead and go to properties. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable for now IPv6, because we don't need to resolve any servers on our network at this very moment that has to do with IPv6. And then we can go to IPv4 and we can go ahead and configure the settings. In my case, I'm gonna be using 192.168.100. That 199.100, sorry. Okay, and it's gonna be a 24-bit mask. So that's 255.255.255.0. And my gateway is gonna be dot one. Okay, and my preferred DNS server is going to be itself, right? Because this will be a domain controller and a DNS server. So I wanna go ahead and put 192.168.199.100. And then an alternate DNS server can be Google. Okay. So I want to go ahead and validate that on. And you can actually go to advanced. You can go to DNS servers. You can say, I want to add. Um, I think it's 8.8.4.4 uh, is another Google server. Okay. And we can put a DNS suffix here to connect to, but we don't need this right now, okay? But we will probably do some stuff tinkering with that later on, okay? So let's get out of there, okay? And we should be good in a second. It's gonna 
try reconnect, change the IP address, and then internet connection. So now what we can do is just open up the command prompt. Okay. So go ahead and see if I can make it larger. Perfect. Now I can do an IP config. So my IP address now is 100. So if I do an IP config all, it's probably super slow because it's probably doing those updates. And now we can see this is our IP. And let's see if we can ping 8.8.8.8. And we're able to ping. Perfecto. So now let's kill that connection. And we can X out of here, X out of here, and move on with the steps. The next step we're going to do is enable remote desktop on the server. So as you can see here, remote desktop is disabled. So this is going to give me access to remotely connect to it from a workstation, another server, etc. So this is pretty much all the admins will be remoting into the server to manage it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and allow remote connections to this computer. Okay. Select user, which is administrator is the only person. That's perfectly fine. Apply. Okay. So that's enabled. So if we refresh this here, this should be enabled. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now is changing the computer name. So we can have something that makes more sense to us. Let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to put win. 2-DC01. Okay, I just want to put whoops. Win 22, so it's Windows Server 2022, and it's going to be our DC01. Okay. You don't have to worry about the domain yet. Just go into a, it's it's in a work group for now. That should be perfectly fine. And then close this. I want to restart later. I just want to look at the Updates, see how they're cooking. So once I reboot, it's probably gonna continue doing this. So let's go ahead and reboot. And if it does continue that, that's pretty much concludes the video anyway. But let's go ahead and just reboot, make sure everything is good to go. Let's reboot our server. And let's, while that's doing its thing, I wanna go ahead and let's go ahead and just do a little overview of what we did in video two. So we checked for updates. There were updates that we started installing. We changed the time zone, changed it to whatever time zone you're in. I'm an EST. We assigned the IP address of 192.168.199.100/24, uh, which is in dotted notation is 255.255.255.0 with a gateway of one. That's how I'm getting out to the internet. We enabled remote desktop on the server so we can remotely connect to it later on if we need so. And we renamed the server to Win22DC01. And last but not least, we rebooted the server and then we're gonna go ahead and check the new configurations and make sure it's all good to go. So let's see how our thing is cooking. Perfect, it's back up and running. Let's go ahead and do a input keyboard, control alt delete, and go ahead and log in. Okay, once this opens up and installs, finishes installing the updates, I mean. Let's just check. Once the server manager opens, we can check, make sure all of our configuration is good to go. Let's go to local server. And we have win DC uh, win twenty two DC one. We'll give this a moment to load up its settings. It's still in the work group. It's Eastern time. It should show us our IP address of one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one ninety nine dot one hundred. We look like we're good to go. So this is the basic configuration for Windows Server twenty twenty two. This is video two. Hang tight and video three will be coming soon. And we'll be installing Active Directory, getting this bad boy as a domain controller and continuing our journey with Windows Server 2022. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. 
obviously, if you enjoyed the video, and sharing is caring, and let's grow the community together. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful day.